Welcome to the Daily Writer Podcast, where we bring you tips and inspiration each day to help you build habits for writing success. For more resources, including your free Daily Writer Starter Kit, visit dailywriterlife.com. We all know that reading is a vital part of the creative process. Now, you've got to have other inputs like listening to great talks, watching videos and movies, seeing plays, and other ways to experience great art and content. But above all, as a writer, you've got to read. So here's one simple method for reading more, which is take a book everywhere you go. Now, if you have a smartphone and an app for reading ebooks, you're already taking ebooks with you because you've got those apps on your phone. However, let's assume that you prefer print books like many writers do and like I do. Now, think of all the spare moments you have throughout any given day. You've got 10 minutes while you're waiting to pick up your kid from school. You've got 15 minutes while you're waiting to get your license renewed at the DMV. You've got five minutes when you're waiting for your husband or wife in the store, or you've got 20 minutes before your next online meeting. So you don't necessarily need to block off huge chunks of time to read. I mean, if you can do that, that's great. But the truth is that there's plenty of spare moments during the day that add up to 30 or even 60 minutes. And those little bits of time can have a huge impact on your mindset and your creative thinking. Mark Twain once said, a person who won't read has no advantage over one who can't read. So as a writer, it's important to take advantage of all those books and all that knowledge that you have at your disposal today. You might be surprised at how much reading you can get done when you use those little pockets of time you have throughout the day. So here's today's challenge. Can you name three little pockets of time you've had in the last 24 hours when you could have been reading? As always, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.